All right, hello, everyone, it's Silver Kyle, and today I'm going to be talking about every upcoming DC omnibus that's coming up from now until September of 2021. We don't really know what the fall catalog is going to look like for DC at the moment. Not that I've seen online. It might be out there, but I haven't found it. And uh, I will be talking about a few uh, books that came out earlier in the year. So I'm, I'm pretty much doing January till September of 2021. And I will be doing a similar video for Marvel. But Marvel has a lot more output than DC does. Uh, which is too bad because there's a lot of stuff from DC that I would absolutely love. Like they could they could really focus on a lot of their new 52 stuff from a lot of their big ti uh, big titles. And then they, they could even touch start doing Rebirth, which they have started doing. Uh, but I would like so much more. Uh, and then the, the 2000s, the 90s, the 80s. There's some heroes that hardly have anything. I, I don't understand how we don't have more of Green Lantern. Now, granted, I'm really biased on that because I'm currently reading Jeff John's run, which is arguably potentially the best Green Lantern uh, run ever from what I've heard. Um, it's it's my favorite run of all time of from what I've read of anything, not just Green Lantern, just of anything. I'm, I'm currently up to Blackest Night and I'm just digging it so much. So I would love to have, you know, some stuff from before. Uh, afterwards, the, the rest of the New 52 run and the Green, Lan uh, the, the, uh, Green Lantern core That would be amazing. I would so love that if, if they had an omnibus for that. Um, the Flash doesn't really have a lot out. Aquaman is severely lacking in omnibus. It's crazy how much more we could have from that. Um, so there's quite a few things that I would like to see from DC. Uh, and there's still some things that I'm very much looking forward to here. But, uh... Not, not a crazy amount. I'm looking forward to a lot more Marvel stuff. Uh, but anyway, let's go over this and uh, I'll kind of more so just say the titles because there is quite a few things that are coming out uh, unless there's something that I really want to talk about and I'll kind of go into it. Um, but the, uh, starting at the beginning of the year, we on January 12th, uh, we had 100 Bullets Omnibus Volume 1, uh, which that's the vertical line uh, from DC. I haven't even heard of this one before. I, I've heard of... I've heard more of Marvel stuff than DC, and, and especially the Vertigo line, there's not really a lot that I've heard of. Unfortunately, because I've heard some really good things about those lines, and that's something I'll eventually get into, but right now I'm just trying to focus on stuff that I liked as a kid, uh, and then I'll start dealing into some, delving into some other things that I hear high recommendation and praise for. Uh, next up is uh, New Teen Titans Omnibus Volume 5. This is uh, coming out January, that came out January 26th. Uh, this is interesting because I think we're getting quite a bit of New Teen Titans, if I remember correctly, if I remember seeing that. Then we got uh, The Flash by Jeff Johns Omnibus Volume 2. We cannot have enough Jeff Johns, in my opinion. I did pick this one up. I did an overview of this uh, where I stretched out the binding just, like, kind of easier. And then I actually fully stretched it out properly. And now it actually gives us a little bit of an eye. It's a really pathetic looking eye, but it's more than what it was giving us at the beginning. Uh, I feel like I could almost stretch this out a little bit more at this point in time. Or maybe just reading it would give us a little bit of a, a better overview. It's weird that DC is actually doing a really good job with their thicker omnibus in terms of the, the binding and, and giving us that eye. Uh, whereas they're very much smaller omnibus because this is like 850 pages. They, they, they make it tight as, as possible. But anyway, uh, so that includes uh, the, the, the last of his run because they did a re... So they, they, had, they had originally done the Jeff Don's Flash Omnibus before with three Omnibus. Now they did it with two. And this is the, the ending of the run. And I think there's a bit, little bit of different, different mapping, obviously, because you went from three Omnibus to two. I liked, I liked the spines, though. Uh, that they had from the old ones. Like, I, these ones are nice, but the, the other ones kind of all went together and you saw the flash lightning. I, I liked it. Then we have uh, Superman by Grant Morrison Omnibus, which was his run uh, from the New 52, I believe, which was uh, 0 to 18 and uh, annual number 1. That came out February 23rd. I, I feel like a few of these for me were a little bit late because I had ordered them from Amazon, but I, I, I believe... Uh, but I got some pretty good deals on them. And this is another one that, that uh, I did an overview of. I guess I, I could put a link in the description box below. This one I did a better job with the eye. Or they did a better job, rather. Because I think I can only do so much. But we have a nicer eye. Uh, once again, though, this this book is... I This book's even smaller than this one. I don't remember, remember how many pages this one is. Uh, that's all the extras, so they're not going to tell us there. They didn't... I think there's a table of contents for this one. Like 662 is the sketchbook, so like 700 pages or something like that. Like it's, 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 I don't know. DC is weird. 
I love I love some of their material like Green Lantern. Ah oh, man, that's so good. Batman is one of my absolute favorites as well. Uh, next up on March 2nd, so just recently we had Superman and Batman Generations Omnibus. Uh, then we're getting Bat Batgirl Returns Omnibus March 16th. So now we're caught up to essentially that was all the old stuff uh, that's coming out. Uh, that that's um, looks like the beginning of that run for uh, 0 to 34. Uh, Batgirl Annual Number 1 and 2. Batgirl Feature Ends and more. Uh, then we have one that I am interested in. I don't know if I'm going to pick it up day one because uh, I don't have a pre-order for it. So I didn't get any good deals for it. But uh, Swamp Thing, the new 52 Omnibus, um, which comes out on March 23rd. That collects uh, Swamp Thing 1 to 40, number 0, because I, I, I'm i assuming this must be, yeah, New 52, duh. <laughs> uh, when they said number 0, I, I automatically saw it, no, but that's what the actual title of, of the Swamp Thing omnibus is. Uh, so, uh, Swamp Thing Annuals number 1 to 3, Swamp Thing Future Ends number 1, Swamp Thing featuring uh, Arcane number 20, 231, sorry, Animal, number, Animal Man number 12, 17, and Aquaman 31. That does look very interesting. I, I I love me some Swamp Thing. I haven't even read any Swamp Thing yet. I have the first Omnibus uh, that was released for, that, that collected the stuff before the, um, uh, what's the stuff, the, the, the absolutes that came out there from, what's his name? That's so sad that I don't remember his name. It's just escaping me and I feel like an idiot, but that's okay. Alan Moore, <laughs> just remembered it. Uh, then we have a Who's Who Omnibus Volume 1. I don't even know what this is. Uh, the Definitive Directory of the DC Universe, number 1 to 26, from 1985. And then they have a, a few annuals as well. Then we have one that I do have a pre-order for that I'm very much looking forward to. And that is Flashpoint, which is the 10th anniversary omnibus. And this collects like a crazy amount of stuff. Essentially, like the obviously Flashpoint number 1 to 5, but then all the tie-ins as well. So there's a lot going on here. And I cannot wait. I know that has nothing to do with omnibus, but next i think it's next year 2022 when we get the flashpoint movie michael keaton returning back as batman i am so stoked for that like i cannot wait i love that movies are finally starting to go where we're finally getting like a lot of hype for for comic book movies uh because of marvel uh but um I, it's, it's weird though because like the dark knight series did so well as well but they didn't connect everything. That was the problem, right? If if they would have started with the Dark Knight and connecting everything, I don't think Nolan would have necessarily been interested in doing something like that because I think he wanted to have everything a lot more grounded with with that Batman series, and, and it worked really well. But um, I, I know this is totally unrelated to Omnibus. I shouldn't be talking about this kind of stuff, but man, I just feel that I love that we're now going getting to a point in comics where multiverses can kind of start happening i, I think that they're, they've been teasing it a lot with marvel and we're finally going to get it with spider-man 3 and then obviously dr strange and uh we're now with dc with flashpoint we, we can finally start doing that kind of stuff and it's so much fun actually with um uh what's it called the dc tv shows uh that they've they've been doing they did some crossovers and stuff like that and they brought people back from you know they were basically showing the multiverse essentially uh, so that's really cool uh, next up is New Teen Titans Omnibus Volume 6. So we got Volume 5 not too long ago, and they're continuing on with that. That's really cool. I like it when they kind of focus on a specific Omnibus series and kind of keep pumping those out every few months. That's that's a wicked way to, to collect everything from that run. It, it just works really well, and it kind of makes... I think that that... I, I don't know. Maybe they're testing it out to see how that works, but releasing a bunch of stuff that kind of follows consecutively over in such a short amount of time, it might get more people to buy more at that time to complete that series it'll be interesting to see if they, it actually works with the sales and stuff then we have uh, superman by peter j tomasi and patrick gleason omnibus um and this i think is the rebirth stuff uh collects yeah collects superman rebirth number one superman 1 to 39 superman 42 to 45 teen titans 15 action comics nine action comics sorry 975 to 976 action comics 1000 super sons 11 and 12 and Superman Annual Number One that gets released on May twenty fifth, twenty twenty one. I do have the pre order for that as well. Then we have some Golden Age stuff from Batman. They release so much Golden Age stuff. I wish they focused this much on some other stuff instead of Golden Age. I mean, I guess eventually we'll get to the point where Golden Age is all taken care of, Silver Age, Bronze Age, and then we can get into the really good stuff. I, I think some of the Bronze Age stuff could be good too, but Golden Age, ugh, Volume Nine. Um, they're at this point just to give you a heads up. It, it collects uh, Batman seventy six to eighty four. Plus stories from Detective Comics 192 to 208 and World's Finest 63 to 70. That comes out June uh, 1st, 2021. I think that they're in the 
fifties, the early fifties by this point in the run. I think it's been a while. Next up is another one that I'm really looking forward to, which is Justice League: The New Fifty Two uh, Omnibus Volume One, which collects uh, Justice League Zero to Twenty Two. Aquaman 14 to 16, Justice League Dark uh, 22 23, DC Comics The New 52, FCBD Special Edition number 1, Justice League of America 6 to 7, Trinity of Sin The Phantom Stranger number 11, Constantine 5, Trinity of Sin Pandora 1 to 3, and that is re getting released on uh, June 22nd. I cannot wait for that. Jim Lee, I think Jeff Johns is, 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 is part of that too. That's, that's a match made in heaven. Uh, Jim Lee and uh, Jeff Johns, in my opinion, uh, from what I've experienced so far. Then we have Justice League of America, The Bronze Age, uh, Volume 3, uh, getting released on July 6th. Then we get The Fourth World by John Byrne Omnibus, which collects The New Gods 12-15, to and Jack Kirby's uh, Fourth World 1-20, to and Genesis 1-4, to July 13th is coming out for that. Fourth World stuff kind of interests me. I, I can't lie. I like Jack Kirby stuff, and, and that's something that I, I would love to read. Those books are absolutely massive in Jack Kirby's collections. Uh, Batwing a Family is Everything Omnibus is coming out August 31st. Preacher Omnibus Volume 2. I've heard some really good things about Preacher, uh, just not something I've ever gotten into before, but uh, that's coming out August 31st as well. And then we have Batman uh, in Brave and the Bold of the Bronze Age Volume, uh, Bronze Age Omnibus Volume 3, which comes out September 7th. And that's Everything that I've seen so far for what is coming out until until September. Uh, so it's, it's going to be interesting to see if what else we're going to be getting. Not really a lot of Batman collected here, which uh, to me, I would really like to see a little bit more from Batman. Like Batman Volume 1 was the only, uh, Volume 9, sorry, was the only thing that, that we saw from the Golden Age. Uh, a lot of stuff that's related to Batman, but not specific Batman runs. Give us a new 52 Volume 2 Age on the bus. I will be doing an overview of of the binding of that when I stretch it out properly to see how well it does. And also the thing is that they have also done a reprint uh, like uh, of um, the New 52 Snyder, Snyder and Capullo Omnibus from Batman. And apparently the binding on that is uh, better because <laughs> that was one of the worst Omnibus that I have personally seen. Uh, it was just horrible. Uh, there was absolutely no eye. It was gutter loss galore in that one. But I'm going to stretch it out properly and we're going to see how well it does. So I'm going to put a, a link in the description box below if you want to check these out more specifically because I, I, I only went over a few of them. Um, but let me know in the comments below what you're looking forward to and if there's anything that I didn't mention that I was specifically getting, should I be getting any of this stuff? I feel like Preacher would probably be one of them. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think and uh, you have all been bearded in. Beardage!